Yo, what is up, user fans? So, I've been getting a lot of questions about vector thrust and like modding and why is it crashing, that kind of thing. So, I thought I'd do a little video to help that out. Uh, sorry for the messy room. But anyway, three year anniversary is coming up for the whole squad. Uh, it's going to premiere November 6th now. I changed the date from November 2nd to November 6th because I do need more time to finish it. But anyway, let me get to the video, I'll advertise all that end of the video. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section, let me know, and I'll try my best to get to answer them. Um, probably going to be busy trying to finish editing and everything because it's really big, but again, save that for later. Let's get to the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with the most common questions first. So the first one is, why does the game crash a lot? Well, it's because the game developers, they stopped developing the game, so it's kind of, it's not completely finished, I'd say but it mostly crashes when you have mods on so let's say you do scrimmage mode and this is from my personal experience you maybe get three to five missions before it actually crashes and that's mostly when it's really heavily modded but if you don't have any mods on it's not going to crash that often but it does crash every now and then so if you want to enjoy the game uh, it just you got to accept it crashing every now and then especially if you're doing mods and this is one very common question i get asked uh, Another one is, you know, is it worth buying? Is it easy to mod? So the worth buying part, I will answer that at the end. So is it easy to mod? Uh, it's a ton lot easier than Project Wingman and Ace Combat. It is a lot easier. Uh, all I gotta do is just go into the files of the aircraft in the game in the Steam folder, and you're able to change soundtracks, you're able to change uh, skins. You can add skin slots. Uh, it's not hard to add a plane slot either. Uh, like if you go on my DB, you will see there is tons and tons and tons of mods out there. Like um, you add the XO2, you add the CFA44, you add the Ace Combat X planes, uh, Salt Horizon. Yeah, there's a ton of planes you can add, and it's possible to add plane slots uh, if you're really good with Blender. And another thing is. You are also able to change the weapons of every aircraft to put on custom weapons, uh, like on the F-18. For example, as you saw in this video, the F-18 has long-range shockwave missiles. And let's say you get Kira's mod, which a lot of people have. Uh, what I do is I get the aircraft that I want to keep in there, and I keep those and delete the rest of them that I don't want. So, you know, you can fly the Agion, you can fly the Spiritus, the Orgoy, you know, some of the Ace Combat uh, Flying Fortress Legends. You can fly those. And also, you have the option of having custom aircraft. And it's not hard to add skin slots, speaking of that. You know, you just gotta make a file. And I'll make a whole another video about modding. Uh, so that way everyone can kind of get an idea. Because I'm starting to see people. They come to me like, hey dude, I saw your video on Vector Thrust, so I decided to get in and try it out. So, you know, they got it and they tried it out. So I'm going to make some modding tutorials. Uh, another commonly uh, asked question is like, you know, or not question, concern, is the flying mechanic. So people don't like how the aircraft feels and how it flies. Um, I was the same way when I first got it. I got it. I was on the first mission, I was like, dude, I just, I, I, I hate how this plane flies, I hate the missiles. So, the fix around that is, yeah, the missiles, initially they do suck. Um, there is a mod out there that improves the missiles, like, fairly improves the missiles, not like, you know, everything's overpowered kind. It's like, it's a balancing mod, I'd say. So, you can put that on, and it adds on. To the homing of some of the missiles and uh it just makes the game more fair more playable you know how the aircraft flies and feels um you know you have the older aircraft that you know obviously they're not gonna be as maneuverable or as fast as let's say you know it's like comparing an f-104 to like an f-22 that kind of thing um so we got a lot of that you start out with those kind of aircraft some of the uh, older aircraft like let's say like from the Cold War and like Vietnam, you know, start with some older aircraft. So you have to get past that, and they are kind of sluggish, as you would think they would be. Still amazing aircraft. Um, but if you want to get past that, there is a cheat called Score Cheat, and it is a battle scene. 
so you install that and then you go to the battle scene you run the mission doesn't matter what aircraft the mission literally lasts less than a second oh excuse me it lasts less than a second and you do the mission it gets you like infinite credits infinite money uh, I forgot to, what the currency is called but you can do that and then you can go into where you unlock all the aircraft you have to manually unlock them uh, makes the process a whole lot faster you don't feel like doing the dreadful uh, missions just having to keep on going and going and going because there's over 200 aircraft in the game so it's it's not a small amount of planes at all um very very wide selection of aircraft from the start even without mods and it's so wide that i haven't even flown all of them yet and it's probably going to take me about a month or two to actually fly all of them and test them out and see the real capabilities that kind of thing and while on the topic of capabilities there's another thing i wanted to mention that i come uh, yeah, sorry i can't talk right now they commonly get questioned about and the concern is the plane handling so a lot of people they do uh, either the old flying style or base combat uh, you do arcade don't do either of those do the based on real stats because that will give you flavor that will change the aircraft's handling that will change the missiles and it will change pretty much everything about the game uh, also it enables the ability to post all if you like which is, it's not hard to do um, it's a lot easier than having to learn it on Ace Combat it's, it's kind of similar to Project Wingman except it's more drifty you, you'll, you'll understand it once you try it out and figure it out but how to initiate it is the exact same way as Project Wingman it's the exact same thing which I also do have a video on it I will put that at the end so anyway, we do have any more questions uh, that I can think of at the moment. But as I mean, all I can think of right now is those. So those are my main questions. Um, oh, wait, actually, never mind. I just thought of one. Multiplayer. So multiplayer, yeah, it is dead because, you know, the game crashes a lot and... Uh, you know, people just, they, they don't like that. It's not, it's not a stable game at all. Very, very fun game, but it's not stable. So, people don't play it. And it's not like Ace Combat, let's say, you know, you add a skin slot or whatever. You change a skin. And you change the skin of an existing one. Like, let's say I change skin one of the F-16. It changes something I have. You know, it's, it's not going to affect multiplayer at all. But let's say I add a skin slot and the other person in the lobby doesn't have that skin slot the game's gonna crash for one of you or both of you I don't know exactly why it's like that but it is and that's with all mods you know adding planes just anything like that so pretty much you both have to have the same mods if you're gonna run mods at all and mods that includes aircraft um, weapons if you change weapons on an aircraft or add a weapon slot that's not gonna crash it I don't think I don't think that's gonna crash it uh, unless you do something like MPBM that you got off the Morgan, let's say you put MPBM on the F-16, it's on the Morgan, yeah, that'll crash it for both of you, but let's say I swap it with, uh, let's say I swap the AIM-132s with the, uh, let's just say AIM-9M8s, let's say I do that, then it's not going to do anything, uh, it's going to be normal on another person's screen, uh, you can upgrade the missiles homing, uh, on a missile that was already in the game, so you know, the not uh, aim 9 and 8, let's say it boosted the homing on them, uh, that's not gonna crash it. But you know, if I just add a complete new missile to it that uh, I got off my DB, yeah, that will. And as for the aircraft, you don't want it to crash, or just any mods in general that's not already existing in game, like I just mentioned, the other person has to have those installed also. For it to work and not crash so make sure the person that you're playing with uh make sure that they also have the mods in and if not uh just figure something out or try and get the mods to them so y'all can play uh i think private lobby is already thing you don't have much experience in multiplayer i've only played on it once or twice so it's pretty fun and i know some people saw my video 
talking about uh, Vector Thrust CDM is more fun than Ace Combat CDM. So one thing I do highly suggest is I would change uh, the values on some of the aircraft so it's more competitive so you go into the scrimmage mode and this will keep you having fun for hours. Uh, you change the team deathmatch and then obviously select the aircraft you want, select the map, uh, day, night, all that kind of thing. And then you go over to the AI settings, turn up to 25 on Ace and then have the team separated. But uh, it's not always going to be very competitive because you know it's going to be like Cold War and Vietnam era aircraft against like you know F-22s and Y-23s that's, that's not really a fair fight if you've played the game before you'll see why so if you want more of a fair fight what you do is it might take you an hour to do it choose all the aircraft that you want to actually play against they're actually competitive so you know pick the F-22 variants and F-22 pick the F-15s, the 14s, the 16s uh, the Sukhois you know just any aircraft that you want to fight uh, that's plenty maneuverable that can hold its own go on the files of each aircraft go down to the year and change the year the start year just put a dash and then the end year uh, put 2060 actually wait no do it the other way around so start year 2060 end year dash and then change the aircraft type change it to fictional and just do that for all the aircraft you want to fight as the AI. So, you know, let's say did that's an F-14, F-15, and SU-27. Let's say it did that. So, I go to the AI settings. I'm going to click None. I'm going to hit Start 2060. And I'm going to uncheck everything but Fictional. And then, you know, the F-15, F-16, F-22, the F-14 that I picked. And put that in the data file. Those are going to only show up as the AI. Sometimes it is glitchy and doesn't work. Uh, it's not all that often. Most of the time it does work. But just remember, it is a very unstable game. But I do say it is worth the money. Uh, if you want to have fun, just like learn how to mod and all those kind of things. You can make your own missions. Um, you can mess with the weapons. I think you can change the warheads. Uh, you can add soundtracks. Custom skins are really easy to make. Um, you do have to have some photo editing knowledge to be able to do that so I would recommend having a program like GIMP or Photoshop things like that I suggest doing that and adding the skins again I'll make a video on that uh, after all my three year anniversary stuff is out the way I'll make some videos so stay tuned on that uh, I'll advertise that at the end of the video again so yeah, that's pretty much all I got on Vector Thrust. I'll have some more videos out on modding and, you know, uh, what to do, uh, how to change some of the files. Maybe I can get to the files part. I'm not 100% sure yet. But just remember, every five subscribers, I upload a brand new Vector Thrust video. And I already owe a few of them, so thank you guys for the new subs. And if you have any more questions, please drop them down in the comment section. I will try my best to get to them and answer them. And I'll see you guys later.